For the first time now, we are seeing video from a bus crash in downtown Portland in April that killed two people. Prosecutors showed this in court this afternoon. Video of the incident from the bus itself. It came on the first day of trial for former TriMet driver Sandy Day, who was charged with careless driving that resulted in death. K2's Carrie Tomlinson was in the courtroom in Multnomah County. And, and Carrie, there was some dramatic testimony. Well, yes, and with the survivors and witnesses telling their stories, it is easy to imagine what it was like that night, first with the crowds on the street leaving the comedy club in good spirits, and then the horror of watching people hit by a bus right in front of you. Driver Sandy Day sits just feet from the stand as witnesses and people she ran over speak. I remember seeing something there, but I didn't know what it was. And then the next thing you know, I'm being, I'm being hit. I saw Janae underneath the back tire, and she was being dr drugged by the bus. The girl that was underneath it got dragged, and then it stopped, and then it started to go again. And we were just screaming, stop, stop. After the impact, it just seemed forever for the bus to even stop. Then I just started praying with her. To hang in there, help's coming. Janae Hamill died along with Danielle Sale. Ryan Hamill was hit too. He ran to the driver's window. I don't know if it was out of anger or what. I punched her in the arm and I said, you need to move this bus back now. Or, please, you know, please move this bus here on top of my sister. The family survived this trial on faith and the hope that this will mean change. This has been the biggest disaster of our life. It has changed us all forever. We will never be the same. And I don't want this to ever happen to anybody else. Now, Danielle Sales' father says this is more than just Sandy Day on trial. The families want to change safety rules at TriMet. They have filed separate civil lawsuits for a total of $30 million. Live in the newsroom, Carrie Tomlinson, K2 News.